I would now like to show you how you can quickly and easily commission our high-end servo drive system Cinemix S120 with start drive. For commissioning, I will use the Cinemix S120 double axis demo case. And now, let's go right to the TIA portal and start the commissioning process. Here in the TIA portal I have already created a project, but without a device. We will start by finding out whether we can find the drive box via the online interfaces. Here we can see that a device has already been detected under the network card. First we select online and diagnostics and assign an IP address to the device, because the device is still fresh, meaning it still has the factory settings. First we have to specify a new IP address exactly as we would if the device were new. 255.255.255.0 that fits. An IP address has now been specified and we can also see it immediately here on the far left that the IP address is also displayed under the available stations. Now we assign a name. We'll simply call the device S120 and then assign the name to the device. The device is immediately updated. Now we go to device update so that we can once again view all the information. If we now go to general information we can see the devices that have been detected. A CU320 with a Profinet interface and firmware 4.8. Next we create the S120 in the TIA portal. First we select add new device. Here we see all the devices that we can add to the TIA portal. We want to create a drive, in this case the Cinemix S120 CU320-2 with the Profinet interface. Now the device view with the control unit opens and we can begin automatic configuration of the Cinemix S120. To do so, we right-click the control unit and start the selection. Now I have to select my network card to find the device. Here it is, with the correct IP address. Now we go online and check which components are interconnected via drive click. They are now displayed. We can now, for example, cause the LEDs of the individual components to flash in order to identify the individual components. The first is the control unit, which is now flashing. Or we can make the power unit flash. And now the other LEDs light up. So, now I will show you how to create the project. First we load the entire hardware configuration into the project. And here we see that other components are added in addition to the control unit. For example, a terminal board has been added and a double motor module to which two axes are connected. As you can see, one axis is completely grayed out, because the upper motor is a drive-click motor whose data is immediately available. The blue motor is not a drive-click motor, so the data must be entered manually. We click the motor, go to Properties and then select the type of drive we'll select one FK7 motor. Here we can either enter the order number directly or select it from the list here below. But in the case of an order number, it's easier if you have it on hand. Here it is one FK7022 AK7111 AG0. We have now selected the motor and immediately see that the motor and encoder are grayed out because both sets of data are stored in the order number, both for the motor and for the encoder. And now we can download everything to the drive. For now we will skip copying the RAM to ROM. As soon as the data has finished downloading, we can operate the axis. Because we're using the demo case, however, we have a slight problem because the supply voltage here is not 400 volts, but only 230 volts. For this reason, we still have to adapt two parameters. Now the system has finished downloading and we can go online to the drive. As you can see, everything is green, everything looks good. Now we can go to axis 1 to the parameters. 
Here there are two views. The function view, where we can commission everything easily and intuitively via a graphical user interface, and the parameter view, where we have access to all the parameters. Here I enter the two settings. You won't have to do this, I'm only doing it, because this test box has a low voltage. I lower the DC link voltage from 600 volts to 345 volts, and now I have to switch the in-feed. If a drive click in feed is installed, the signal is taken from there, but here I just issue a high signal. Now we can go to commissioning. To make it all a little easier to see, I'll activate the control panel, assume master control on the computer, activate the axis. Now we can hear the drive fan again. Enter a rotational speed such as 1000 rotations per minute, the axis starts, it is now rotating as well and then we can also stop the axis. What we can also do now is to run the axis through an automatic optimization. And here is also a major advantage of start drive over starter. Because we have now transferred the numeric optimization run here. Here we can also select how the axis will be optimized, robust, moderate or tight. We won't go over any of this in this video in order to save time. And now I relinquish master control. We have now reached the end and I hope you have seen how quick and easy it is to commission our high-end servo drive system with the Star Drive software. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.